Have you ever had a video game slump? Maybe you're still playing video games and you're enjoying them, but nothing has grabbed you in the way like some of your favorite series have. You know, you haven't come across anything that's blown your mind. Now, this has kind of been me at the second half of 2023. I think it has to do with the selection of games I chose the stream. I went through the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy, which all I could say was a mixed bag for me. Sometimes it was enjoyable. Sometimes I wanted to jump off a cliff and leave my stream hanging. I then played Final Fantasy 16, which was an enjoyable experience, but still left a lot to be desired. And then I went on to Tales of Symphonia 2, which why did I play that? I mean, everyone warned me it was goofy and not necessarily a great entry, but I wanted to give it a shot. And it, it is actually pretty fun, but not necessarily the game I needed to like reinvigorate my energy for video games. And here comes Monster Hunter World. So my chat after the Monster Hunter Wilds trailer kept nagging me and saying, why have you not played Monster Hunter yet? You literally love combat systems. You love boss fights and you love dinosaurs and things like Godzilla. So how have you not played this? And I honestly said, I don't know. The series seemed a little daunting. I did boot up World one time and I didn't get through like the intro. I did like two missions and it was just a lot. And I was like, this game is going to take up all my time. So it seemed very daunting, but it isn't actually as daunting as you may seem because you could kind of hop into any monster hunter and you will learn the loop and kind of how the game plays. In today's video, I wanted to just go over my experience starting Monster Hunter World in 2024 and how much this series has come to be one of my favorite favorites now and hopefully this can inspire some new players to try the game or just have some monster hunter fans enjoy hearing how much i love getting into one of their favorite games i do hope you guys enjoy now this first little story is kind of funny so growing up i've never been a sports person i've always kind of been competitive and like to get good at things and skillful at things but i just didn't like sports i was a big nerd i loved video games and stuff so i do really enjoy when a game has a high skill ceiling or when it's just kind of challenging to learn you know you got your players where you don't want to be challenged at all when you hop on a game you want that relaxation time you want to just be chilling and then you got players like me on the other end of the spectrum where i really really enjoy high skill ceilings because it gets me something to learn. I can get better at it and I overall get more immersed into the video game world they're trying to tell. And Monster Hunter is very much that style of gameplay. Hell, I was trying to just hit the monster for the first two hours and you could barely hit these things because it's just so hard to kind of get the ropes with the weapons. It's not necessarily hard, but it's a lot. Each of these weapons has so many different combinations you can do. I am over a hundred hours now in Monster Hunter World and I still sometimes will pull off like a combo and I'm like, how did I do that? I, I didn't even know you could do that. Or I'll slide down a slope or something in my environment and do a whole new move and I'm like, wow, I didn't even know that. And then let's say you drop the great sword and pick up the hammer. It's almost like you just put in a brand new disc into your PlayStation. Like you are starting a whole new game. You're gonna have to learn from scratch when to swing your weapons, when to activate certain moves. They usually have gimmicks to them. Like some of them you have to charge vials to even use some of its energy induced attacks. And overall, Monster Hunter World goes for a realistic feel. Now, when I could see the vision of the devs combat system, that's usually when I really enjoy it. This combat is going to turn off some people because it's very slow and heavy it's very methodical in that you have to know where you're placing yourself and when you are going to swing or you're going to get punished you cannot button mash whatsoever and most of the time you're going to feel pretty slow but when you get it down it just feels right that's all I could explain it. One of the most satisfying combat systems I've ever played. When you jump off a cliff and slam a Rathalos in the face with a hammer, or when you fly up into the air with the katana to do some crazy anime moves, it is so satisfying because it took work to get there. It took a little bit of skill for you to learn how to use those weapons and how to approach whatever monster breed you come across. Now, once you figure out what weapon you want to use and pretty much kind of how you want to start your build, you get into the loop of the game, which I'll explain briefly if you don't know it. Monster Hunter doesn't have a story first and foremost, like you do have a story going on, but most of the time it is about the gameplay in the world. You're going to be picking up quests around your hub, basically making yourself totally prepared 
and then you're gonna go on your little hunt and you're gonna go into kind of a mini sandbox, I like to explain it. They're these small biomes, but they're pretty open for you to run around in and collect stuff, hunt whatever monsters you find. And you usually do it co-op. Uh, first time going through the game, I like to solo all the new monsters and a lot of people do that, but you are most of the time playing multiplayer and it works fantastically here. You're basically gonna find what armor sets and weapons please your eye and then you're gonna go grind that monster a lot but what makes it so fun is there's a different scenario almost every time you do because you're fighting the same monster right but the way this game works has that addictive replayability factor every time you go fight a monster it's going to be different a different trap might be set off you might be in a whole different area of the map which has different environmental factors like you could jump off a giant cliff break a dam there's a whole bunch of things in these biomes to interact with and it makes the world feel alive every time you go hunt a monster it's just a blast because you don't know what will happen and then grabbing the loot at the end is always fun because you never know exactly what you're going to get or you can build armor pieces to give you higher rewards so there's a whole bunch here to make the loop very addictive so if you like grinding for armor pieces or builds and stuff you will very much enjoy this game in my opinion and the other thing i want to praise so much is the multiplayer Multiplayer in games like this I've come across have two big issues. One issue is clarity. I can't usually see what my teammates are doing. Like there's too much on the screen or it's even just lagging a little bit and like you can never tell what your teammates are doing. And then the other one is it's just too unbalanced. Like if you're playing a multiplayer game like this, sometimes your teammates will be too strong or you'll be too strong and then the fight just blows over and you didn't really do anything. Monster Hunter World literally got it perfect and it blew me away. Every time you are gonna see so clearly what your teammates are doing, like you'll be fighting and someone will fly totally off screen and slam on top of the monster and mount it and you will see all of it totally smoothly. And it never feels like one person is just taking the whole fight in their hands. You are all working together and it just flows really well. I was genuinely shocked at how much I love the multiplayer because it doesn't take away from anything. It actually adds to the enjoyment of the game, which in my opinion is very hard to do. And then once you go into the world and see how much you could actually interact with the environment, the immersion and ecology factor is just so good. I love collecting monster tracks and upgrading the monsters, learning their weaknesses and stuff. I love just collecting little animals and plants around the environment. There's so much to do and craft and build. The content never stops flowing. You'll keep increasingly meet new monsters and then you'll go look at armor pieces and you'll be like, wow, I love this one. And then a new one will unlock and you'll want that one. And it just keeps on going. And when you see the effort put into these armor pieces, it's kind crazy i mean they look so distinct and so awesome and then when you realize that they made every single armor piece all over again for the female variant if you make the character creator a female it's crazy they put a lot of effort into the armor and i literally want to collect every single armor piece Overall, what this game does so damn good is immersion. I literally feel like I'm exploring this vast world with its own ecology and all these different species running around. The way the AI behaves and the monsters will fight each other, something new is happening every time I go out on a quest. So the whole world feels very connected. You're gonna go back to your hub and prepare. You could even put some of the animals you've caught out in the world in your little house as pets. It all very much connects to each other and feels like a living, breathing world and all i could say is if you enjoy combat systems if you enjoy games like dark souls and stuff where more emphasis is placed on builds and your weapons i wholeheartedly urge you to pick up monster hunter world and try it it's going on a whole bunch of sales right now pretty much because wilds is coming out in 2025 so capcom has just put a whole bunch of sales on but i really urge anyone that liked anything i've said in this video to really try the game because it may get you as much as it got me I went out and bought a whole bunch of different Monster Hunter games. I got Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I got Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I got Stories 2. So I really am a big fan of this series now. And it's climbing up as one of my all-time favorites, which is kind of crazy. It's been years since I found a series that would be able to climb this high on my rankings of favorite video games. But Monster Hunter World has been an absolute blast every single second. And I ain't done with it. Like I need to give it a break because I can't get any of my backlog done because all I do is hop on Monster Hunter World. So I wanted to say a big thank you again to my chat 
for nagging me to hop on this game. I really do appreciate it because it was so much fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as a whole. Hopefully this reached a few new fans to maybe make you guys want to try out Monster Hunter. I just want to spread the love and talk about how good this game actually is. So yeah, if you've never played this game, I urge you to check it out, especially if you enjoyed what I've said in today's video. And regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing my Monster Hunter world story. I'm so happy to be a part of this series now and basically be excited for Wilds coming out. That's definitely going to be awesome. So yeah, I had to get a video out just talking about my Monster Hunter experience in 2024. I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys very soon.